Splendid, absolutely splendid. It's not often an amazing piece of architecture has shown up in Cairns. Something that's a mix of agricultural, commercial and shopping centre. This chic, chic little carport is on a main drag of Tans and can be seen running the way past. It really is a fantastic feast for the eyes. Let me show you how we made it. Come with me. As you can see, one part, one very important part, was getting the footings and the posts in. That was the first stage of this sort of thing, apart from layout, of course. But as you can see, it's got this beautiful etched concrete look, all right, that finishes the ground nicely. This feel, this textural feel that you have, all right, helps with grip as well as serve a purpose to remind you of what's new and what was old. 
these footings, all right, were amazingly huge because there was already existing well plates in the concrete. These weren't known of what was behind them, but we found out soon enough when we tried to dig this hole. We had concrete halfway in the hole. We had to jackhammer this concrete out. It was an amazing experience and thoroughly enjoyed every second. This little carport kept on giving, it really did. The next part over the posts were in and all secure, okay, was the tie-ins on the roof. Now the tie-ins on the roof were good fun as well. Short, stumpy little bits of steel bolted into the existing frame of the house and the existing bond beams inside the house to ensure that the carport was not going to go anywhere, all right? Not that the double footings were enough, you know, we, we needed extra as well. So yeah, that was fun. Thoroughly enjoyed being on the roof and working in around those pieces and uh, yeah, come up a treat, that's for sure. After all of that, the tie-ins were done, the posts were up, the beams had to go up. The beams themselves, they were heavy. They were heavy. Hard to lift, but we got them up there, got them in the location they needed to be, and it's all worked out pretty nicely. Secured the beams and welded them where they needed to be. Okay, all set in place. Amazing.
Obviously the beams are up, time for purlins and sheets. You can also see the cross strapping that's up here. This is pretty standard bracing for up here in Queensland. It helps the whole shake and roll of the, uh, of the building. Definitely needed. Look at it, look at those pearl and shine and those special stickers that are still on the pearl. They look amazing. They really do accentuate the fact that it's come out of a factory that was delivered here on site. Oh look, I've even got a weld that I haven't sprayed in gray yet. That's a special treat for me later on. I'll give it a quick, quick tickle. Righto guys, yes, it's Chris, Midlife Carpentry. I, uh, I've snapped back to normal again. I was taking the piss. It was a bit of a bit of a chuckle for me, just to have a bit of a muck around, to be honest. I hope you didn't mind. Uh, yes, as you can tell, I have a lot to do on this carport still. I've still got flashes to put up. I've still got painting to do. Um, I've got gutters to put up. There's still a fair bit involved in this one, but it'll, it'll get there over time. And I'll do a separate video for that. Just at the moment, my, uh, my energies are diverted elsewhere, okay? I've got a cover on this thing, it's secure which is what we wanted. And uh, now it's back to the pool, trying to finish that project off. It really needs to be done before I move back into this one, get this one done. Um, and in amongst there, I've also got that draw build that I'm very, very keen to show you guys um, and, and to yeah, give you some, give you some uh, ideas and stuff on how to do it, I guess. Just a different way of building. Righto. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I've had an absolute ball doing this project. A big shout out to the boys, Jaden and Reggie, who have helped me out a great deal with this one. Uh, shout out to the boss as well, who's let me borrow the equipment and everything too, and obviously helping me with the whole builder's side of thing as well, which was obviously needed for this size um, project. So very, very lucky boy to have, have these sort of people in my life. So yeah, definitely, definitely thankful hand to heart. So let's uh let's get on with it um i have learned i did some welding and stuff in this project too which the last time i welded was when i was back at school so doing this project gave me a chance to refresh my memory a little bit on welding and how to do it i've still got a long way to go to learn how to do it better um, especially in different locations you know vertically upside down all this stuff and i want to learn that i really do it's a it really is a part of diversifying your skills and getting better and better and better as a, as a chippy as a person as a builder as uh as whatever so yeah definitely definitely exciting times so a big thank you guys for watching i genuinely appreciate all the time thank you very much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button i've got more stuff coming two shout outs to do i've got uh, as i see it's to do all that fun stuff as i do on the channel and uh, obviously if you've got some stuff you want me to talk about or something that you want me to bring up please chuck it in the comments let's talk about it let's start a, start a discussion and um yeah that's what the platform is all about that's why we're here so we're here to give information to you guys, give you guys something to watch and, uh, and enjoy on the couch or, or whatever. So or on the dunny, whatever you're doing, I don't care. Righto guys, build on legends. You have a cracker of a week and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.